Assalamu alaikum viewers. Uh, thank you. Uh, we are here today for our second interview uh, in Toronto. I have a very uh, uh, great inspiring uh, uh, sportsman here, Mohamed Raza Karim, very well known in Mombasa for his uh, uh, spinning capabilities. Uh, uh, you know, when we talk about Mohamed Raza Karim, we right away think of it as a spinner. And uh, so I'm glad that uh, he agreed to do this interview with me today and um, a very great sportsman and uh, you know his twists and turns have baffled many of our opponents uh, in the past and uh, he has created a name for himself in our community uh, his cricketing career spanned about 25 years from the mid 70s to the late 90s uh, and uh, a, 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 a phenomenal person also uh, by nature um, and uh, so I'm glad that he's here today. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum So, um, uh, and again, like we did last time, we're going to be kind of moving from Kachi and English also. So, Maudraza, Pelo Muka Puchno Eto Ke Sawal, Ke Tu Sharu Kare Cricket, and mid 70s, me Toji Umar Kurovi, and how did you um, get involved with the club? And uh, Pachi, you know, Tojo career as a spinner, Kirta Tio. So, you know, can you just uh, pake some yeah, uh, Kuro, yeah. what was the background? Yeah, yeah. Basically, I started uh, uh, cricket uh, as, a, as a wicketkeeper in Kostim Khanna because at that time, Jeffrey Club, a uh, very strong team of Jeffrey Club, uh, the, the veterans who, who are now veterans, but at that time, they were in their heydays, they were very, very good players, good batsmen. Uh, so we could not have any chance to get into the A team. So I was approached by Vanraj Patel, I remember very well. Uh, he told me to come to Jimkana. <coughs> we met somewhere. And I started off as a wicket keeper. I used to keep wickets for at least one full season. And then uh, I thought I still belong to Jeffrey. Uh, it's not right that I continue with Jimkana. Uh, and then I told uh, Van Raj and all those guys, I need to go back to Jeffrey because I feel that there are my age mates uh, who are joining the club, Jeffrey, and I have to go and play for Jeffrey. So we, I moved to Jeffrey and I was attending practices. We were all attending practices. Uh, Four o'clock school, at like 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock, we are at the club going for practice. And all of a sudden, I decided, let me try to bowl. Now, I bowled the leg breaks and Apparently, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was either Sultan by Nur Muhammad, Muhammad uh, Ghulam was Tommy Marhum. He, they realized uh, there, is, there is some potential in this bowler. So they came behind me, like when I was taking the, the start uh, uh, before bowling. So they came and stood behind me just between uh, the, the stumps, the bowling stumps and the screen. And they could see me moving the ball quite well, both ways, uh, the, the leg break and the dusra. So uh, Sultan Bai approached me and said, why have you been keeping wickets for all this time? You should be bowling. I said, okay, I will, I will keep on. That's how I started to bowl. And uh, that's how the, the bowling career started. And uh, I, was, I was bowling. And, and at the same time, I was uh, betting as well as an opener mm -hmm. for most of my career and so that's how I became a bowler and that's how I got into uh, Jeffrey team not yet into Jeffrey A but in Jeffrey as a whole mm -hmm. and I, I practiced with all my other age mates mm -hmm. Mohamed AP was there Shabir Nazrali uh, I, 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 I will apologize if I forget a few names because this is <laughs> more than a quarter century ago maybe more so I would apologize if I forget a few names, but whatever I remember, I'll definitely mention in the sense that we all played a part in success of Jeffrey in Mombasa. So the, w w at what age was this when you started Narji Kostim Khana Me Tusharu Kare, but she asked you went into Jaffrey. So what are we looking at age-wise? Kostim Khana Me, I was a, at the age of 14. Mm -hmm. So the whole age of 14, one year I played in Yimkana <coughs> at the age of I think 13 and the age of 14, 14 and a half, I came to Jeffrey. Ah, and the third time you were, I, uh, you got the opportunity to play for the A team, Ke Tupela, there was a B team at that time or something there like was, that? There was no B team, there ah. was only Jeffrey A, uh, if my memory serves me right. Mm. Uh, it was a struggle to get into that team because 
there were stalwarts there good batsmen gulam abbas mt sikandar pyarali uh, pyarali kasmali a very very good Spirit. left arm swinger uh, opening the bowling mm. a uh, very strong side onali kanji so we could not make it into that team mm. we tried very hard we were playing well we were committed uh, and uh, we just could not make it into the side at least for one year yeah. and then somehow uh, we used to score well and uh, and and again somehow coincidentally uh, the life the cricketing career of those 6 7 uh, old uh, not old but uh, aged uh, batsmen and bowlers of jeffrey they also thought or maybe it crossed their mind that now we need to give them chance we need to tell them to come uh, come over so but one small mistake i feel which was done on our side or on their side on the selection side of the of the jeffrey club is that uh, all of a sudden in one in one year in one season six was it six or seven came out and six or seven of us came into the into the jeffrey uh, a team and the first season we were beating we were beaten <coughs> the whole season i don't think we reached anywhere mm -hmm. uh, we lost quite a few number of games but that was the only year after that we always went on a winning spree performing well committed now you see again there is a question here mm. uh, that what 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 made you play so well mm. it's because of competition between us mm. now we were the same age mates <coughs> we, we 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 cricket started getting into our blood and uh, we we used to discuss cricket on and off the pitch and uh, always before before a, a good game before any game for that matter we used to discuss in the evenings also after practices during practices so we really did well it was a good bunch of six seven good players Ooh. who uh, uh, transitioned into jeffrey a yeah. and the six seven uh, veterans gave us the opportunity to play for it so uh, i can see the transitioning happening but before going into that uh, you know the um, uh, your spinning uh, capabilities was there any did you get any coaching for it or anything like that okay. was there a, a chance where somebody came and trained you for it later on or different ways of doing the spinning or anything or you, or you just developed it naturally that's a good question there was there was no support totally zero mm. there was nobody in fact uh, at that time there was nothing like coaching there was nothing like training Uh, there was nothing like that you have to develop yourself you have to put effort yourself put put 100% and you and the result will be on the on sunday oh. Th that's it so because of those results uh, it was automatic that uh, the bowling was going well yeah. because getting a good haul of wickets every sunday a good number of wickets there was no coaching there is nothing like that during practice just go and bowl as much good as you can bowl just bowl but how did you know how to turn the ball that's where i'm trying to get okay you know where you know you this is the style for the leg breaker or this is the style for the beamer in those days we didn't have internet we didn't have youtube or anything like that so how did that happen that's right it's a good question the thing is that uh, i i i cannot answer you that question it was just natural that i was not an, a a palm spinner i was a finger spinner now uh. finger spinning is more wider you get much more movement than the palm one now i don't know how i developed the googly all of a sudden Ooh. i thought my wrist is going 360 degrees why shouldn't i try yeah. and i could bowl both ways with the same movement leg break dead yard jo hai to googly pan dead yard jo move dindu and then i developed another one which was an armor which is an action of a leg break but the ball goes straight just roll the ball over yes so i had three times although i did not uh, master the armor very much but i i did use it sometimes uh, so it was an advantage having three types of uh, just to confuse the batsmen and at that time there was no there was no support like like today uh, at that time you can imagine when we went to go and play we used to pay ourselves these days 
अजकल तो रमन लेकर एपियरेंस भी मंगन था प्लेयर्स एट दैट टाइम वी एपियर तो इज इज डिफरेंट वी यूज्ड टू पे एंड ट्रैवल एंड एंड प्ले सो देयर वाज नथिंग लाइक समबडी वुड कोच यू एंड टेल यू हिरा टप्पो कर ओके कैजुअली समबडी वुड कम अप मरु मोनली कान जी वुड जस्ट कम अप एंड टेल मी करीम ही नंबर ऑफ बने और मे बी ड्यूरिंग गेम्स ही वुड गाइड पर नथिंग टू डू विद द स्पिन ऑफ द बॉल इटसेल्फ और द टर्न ऑफ द बॉल इटसेल्फ no guidance just the the game uh, game on game guidance during the game little before the game that's how it was so it was just natural it just came the leg break and at that time it was a novelty uh, for googly bowlers there was no googly bowler at that time nobody Ooh. bowling the dusra yes. nobody it was unheard of i guess that's Maybe. right it was, it was a novelty yeah. and uh, i developed it it well it, it gave me so many wickets as well mm. it confused uh, so many players even foreign teams when they were touring mombasa mm. from uk from india from pakistan pia had come uh, hyderabad blues had come madras occasionals had come so when we used to play with them they also used to uh, appreciate that, uh, that there is Uh, somebody who is bowling dusra yeah so i developed the, the dusra quite well and mm. i used to get wickets on that so at that time when you were now in your teens um uh, can you name maybe a few people who were inspiration to you um, locally internationally you know everybody has some kind of a current um, okay he, i want to become like him one day or was there any figure that you had or even locally Uh, were there some players that really affected you in your mind uh, when you came to cricket okay that's fine uh, in terms of inspiration i don't think because now what i was looking <coughs> at at that time was now you see you have two things engagement and entertainment hmm. it's two things now i chose instead of engagement i chose to be to be entertaining myself i chose hmm. entertainment over engagement because hmm. my family structure was that way that i could not migrate anywhere else mm. i could not go anywhere else i had to stay in mombasa play in mombasa mm. so because we did not have much access to live games so i we just heard mm. some few spinners here and there mm. and as i just we as we just discussed regarding uh, a googly bowler so uh, in absence of any other googly bowler who would inspire me yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was engagement and and, inspir- uh, and entertainment mm. so i chose entertainment whereby I was entertaining myself, entertaining the club, entertaining mm. the club, the crowd, which I used to enjoy. Uh-huh. What about your betting? How did that develop? Betting also now uh, again. Uh, I used to open in Coast Jim Khan as well, being mm. a wicket keeper. Most of the time, uh, not across the board, but most wicket keepers are opening batsmen, because uh, keeping wickets, you you have the eyesight of the ball, uh, the full length of the day. Uh, so. Uh, I, I used to open for Jim Khan as well, and I used to bet well. I used to score good number of runs in, in opening betting, so that continued in Jeffrey as well. Ah, okay, okay. So again, uh, we can talk about this. Uh, I, I know your betting career was also pretty good because, Mugi Ade, your uh, uh, some of your innings were really very, very integral in in uh, in uh, having Jeffrey win some matches. Um, but uh, b- before we go to that um uh, so that that transition that to baat kare uh ke panch ke chha player hakre sate nikri gaya bare and i look on the gariya so it seems like it was more like a overnight thing uh, i- instant uh, thing uh, and how did that come about what was the the situation like that uh, is there can you elaborate on it ke karo Uh, it was just i think it was a coincidence that uh, we were ready to play for jeffrey a and the jeffrey a players were almost ready to retire mm-hmm. because they had played they had played out their age they had played out their potential mm. they had played out their strength so uh, the club needed new blood coming in mm. and that's the time when we were ready ah. so when we came in now cricket is also played with a lot of experience we did not have much experience we had performance yeah. but we didn't have experience now because we didn't have experience we lost that particular year and can you remember who the captain was at that time was it a senior or was it one of you guys i think it, if i'm not i'm not yeah. sure yeah. Uh, it's it's one of the, one of us was, was, was okay. the captain okay. yes uh-huh. 
either Norman AP or, or I, I, I'm not ah, sure. Okay, okay. So it was one of you guys, no, not a senior guy. That's right, ah. yes. But again, the advantage with us, six, seven players of the same age and coming mm. into A together, there was nothing like a captain. We, ah. we, would, uh, we would take decisions together ah. on the ground. So it was a very, very nice uh, combination between us uh, on and off the field. So mm. very much, uh, very strong bond between us uh, as a team. Mm. So I wouldn't remember and the captain would shift like in a knockout a different captain maybe in a league maybe would decide in a different uh, captain but it was revolving in in our s the seven players who had migrated into the a team uh, so it seems like the transition was uh, pretty good uh, in a way in so to speak because uh, uh, there was a time for uh, certain players and they had to move out and you guys came in although you had one year of that bra uh, sort of difficulty but you develop yourself. In it. But good thing is that today I look okay, but I look okay, but I look okay, training before that, right? Correct, that's yeah, right. So now, why we lost, why we lost that particular year, uh, if my memory serves me right, it's it's only our club, which the, the veterans uh, left in yeah. seven in number, and youngsters us seven in number coming in mm. but Mombasa sports club still had those veterans uh. cause Jim Khan still had those veterans so they beat us mm. Hatim Karimji had st still had those veterans for Krumabla oh uh, yeah so that's why uh, and, and we knew that Hakuro Oras Balek Harab Nikar do but it will not continue that ha, way ha, ha. <laughs> it has to we have to improve can you mention some of those names Babarja Jeva uh, oh, opponents oh, oh, in that, uh, that time many many uh, Vanraj Patel in Jim Khanna Kishore Lakhani uh, uh, Hakim Isaji Asghar Thakangu uh, oh Masood Rana Masood Rana Babla, I remember, oh, yeah, yeah. huge good good they look for Gano time to the riba uh, they did not leave. See, so this transition yes. only took place in Jeffrey. Yes. The others continued for another two, three, four years. But now. I think in, in in hindsight, I think it was a good thing because this is how a new generation can be developed, right? And then uh, after one year uh, when we lost and then the same, th these veterans of those clubs, ah. we were beating them then. Ah. From the right, right from the second year. So do you remember any of those games, the first games that you started to beat them? Uh, it King might Magali? be difficult, that's yes. long so, ago, ah, but ah. in fact, uh, I might not remember why, because the performance was so much well balanced, balanced between yeah. uh, between us seven. Yeah. Everybody performed yeah. in every game. Everybody was at its at his best in Ooh. terms of bowling, in terms of betting, fielding, wicket keeping, in yeah. all areas. So everybody performed, and uh, that's why we we started beating Hatim Karimji. We, we started beating Mombasa Sports Club, Jim Khanna. We were among the uh, winning runner-up, winner runner-up. Uh, so we, we, we did well after that one year. Which is nice. So, Hane, between your age of 14 or 15 and coming to around maybe 18, 19, and then you started to now take up uh, the Jaffrey positions, like the seven people that you came in, and uh, that was probably the era of uh, the late 70s now, right? And then going into the first ten years of your career as a, for Jaffrey, um, have any highlights uh, or any particular games you you remember very distinctly? how we won this game, or what happened? And now, what happened in in that particular time? Annual event we had CCA versus KCA. Uh -huh. Once he's played <coughs> in Nairobi, once he's uh, played in Mombasa. So, when I Mombasa, I remember this KCA people and we lost, I remember that game, we lost so narrowly, so narrowly by a few runs. We have never beaten KCA, but that particular year, we had the chance of beating them, but we lost by three or four runs. The game went till a bit, little bit of evening and we were almost winning and we lost. Now, after that game, I remember very well, uh, Jaintilal of Nagara Sports Club, he walked up to me and said, Nairobi, uh. we need a spinner. Uh, I said, yeah, also. So, okay, our season start. So, and that's how I started traveling to Nairobi. Uh, I played three games in Nairobi. I used to bowl in Nagara Sports Club. Now they told me, I'm going to have a batsman in Jaruche. So, I told Iqbal, Iqbal Pataudi, Iqbal Chal, I'm going to have a batsman in Jaruche. Let's go. 
unfortunately ikbal ikbal ji exams haldi bhi i think he, he had his final exams for their particular month so he did not travel so it was shabir nazr ali have shabir alwin je chance the fine maza dine robi mero malle better cricket better competition grass wicket i will enjoy to shabir agreed and me and shabir we traveled for quite a few months years every sunday we were in nairobi mm. we used to go by uh, by by taxi there was a mps mombasa pigeon services by taxi 5 6 hours you are in nairobi 2 uh, 3 months we travel like that and then we came across kenya airways i remember kenya airways ji ticket we msafiri na mo jo 850 shillings return yes i remember that yeah so we used to have that ticket for the whole season <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we used to go every sunday and then after few years in one flight on a sunday evening after playing in nairobi when we were coming back i counted personally we were 13 players from mombasa playing for different clubs in nairobi really? 13 wow. so the cream of cca the cream of um, cost cricket was playing in nairobi yeah, every okay, sunday so. now anup chatai was there uh, barat uh, barat saujani so, was there oh ibrahim jaffa for some time mustafa khaki Mahmoud Khaki for a short period of time he traveled with us we were 13 on that flight on the return from Nairobi after the Sunday all playing for different clubs so what was happening at that time on the Sunday in Mombasa now well, that was that was <laughs> a question it was it was going on it was going on but we had to go for better more competitive cricket we had to go for it mm. and uh, uh, there was no objection we used to go there it was a pride for all those clubs mm. who were sending their players to nairobi mm. it was a pride and from there you can see how anup chotai later mm. chotai how he came up mm. he used to captain kenyan national team living in mombasa and playing on matting mm. now you see again there was a challenge at that time we we found it difficult okay in the earlier years uh, it was it was not an, uh, kenya was not affiliated to icc it was east africa mm. so two three players from zambia two three from tanzania two three from uganda and seven from six seven from kenya so now we didn't have to try and get into the 11 we had to try and get into the six which was almost impossible uh, having played uh, matting in Mombasa, mm. living in Mombasa, not directly under the, <coughs> the eyes of the national selectors. So, so that's why we, we didn't feel like engaging, mm. we felt like entertaining. entertaining. So how was your uh, performances? Do you remember any of the games in Nairobi or uh, for that matter in Mombasa? Any, any games that come uh, in the Nero standout? In Nairobi, Shabi Nazali used to score good amount of runs very good runs every game i used to take wickets against sarali sports club i picked up four wickets mm. against uh, swami bapa ultimately i played for swami bapa that yeah. then so for three years i played for nagara every every sunday i used to go uh, at least at least with a wicket two wickets but most of the time three four three four because it was still a novelty in nairobi they did not have an established leg break bowler Although I was not yet that much established, but I had that turn. Ah. And the turn which I was getting on the matting, I was getting the same turn on the grass, which is very surprising. Normally, on grass, you would reduce the turn. Mm. The turn reduces. It all depends on the dew on the grass at that ah. time. Whether you are bowling in the morning or you are bowling in the afternoon, there's, yeah. a, there's a difference. difference. So, but I could still manage to really move the ball well, at least a yard, yard and a half. So, by going to Nairobi, I look at on a more regular basis. So, I know that there was a time that uh, you also uh, were given a chance to play for Kenya or for East Africa for that matter in those days. Um, can you mention maybe that, uh, uh, that time when you were able to go and play for that? Now, coming to the national level, I vividly remember that uh, I, I was offered with this, uh, there was a TAGT trophy, Tar Muhammad Abdul Ghani trophy, which was played every year during Easter holidays uh, in Lusaka, in Lulongwe, in Dar es Salaam, Nairobi. So the venue shifts every year. So I traveled to Harare uh, with the Kenyan team, uh, and then I traveled to Lusaka, and then uh, in Nairobi, and then I, didn't, I don't think I went to Kampala. But those are, those are the, the annual events which were taking place annually during Easter, mm. which I would really wait for and uh, uh, get the opportunity of traveling and play with them. Ah. 
So did you, was there a particular game that you remember you played? Uh, uh, we had very, very good players. Mm. Zahur Sheikh, Azhar Ali, mm. uh, very, very good. Uh, uh, I, think, I think Asif Karim was also there by that time already. Uh, in the in this uh, particular quadrangulars, mm. uh, it was although restricted to Muslims. I think it was a Muslim tournament, mm. uh, but on a national level, and uh, they were all huge performers there. Uh. And uh, I wouldn't exactly remember, but I used to do average, maybe because we were not used to traveling. We did not even have any passports. Mm. Uh, we coming from very very uh, uh, sober uh, background and uh, not much traveling uh, in the pocket so when you when you go ab abroad mm. uh, again the, the it, it, it's it's different yeah uh, in fact can you imagine when we were traveling to nairobi even yeah. in the morning the cold in nairobi was having our hands dried yeah. now in mombasa you sweat so you can hold <coughs> the ball well and spin well but in nairobi your hands are dry you, you are struggling to get some some uh, wetness in mm. the hand so that you can spin the ball well. So now you can imagine if you travel abroad to other countries, not yeah. abroad, but uh, to other East African countries where uh, climates are different in Zimbabwe, in, uh. in, in Lusaka and all that. But we traveled, we, we really enjoyed. We entertained mm. ourselves. Uh, so many times you also won that uh, Tarma Trophy, uh, Kenya won. And uh, uh, th that's how uh, our traveling was. And then again, the three years when I finished with uh, Nagara, Swami Bapa offered me. So I went four years for Swami Bapa, again three or four years mm. for Swami Bapa. We, we toured, uh, uh, before that, Nagara also had a tour to Far East, mm. India and the Far East. And then Swami Bapa, when I joined Swami Bapa, they arranged a tour to India uh, with, with good, good old players. Mm. Muhammad Azharuddin was our host. Ah. Muhammad Azharuddin was our host. Uh, there were there were two three other uh, known players at that time. We toured Hyderabad, we toured Ahmedabad, having games there. Mm. We stayed at CCI in Bombay, just uh, off Marine Drive. Mm. Uh, we played a game there. Then we went to recreational visits to Buj and all that. Mm. Uh, it was almost three to four weeks tour, which I uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Mm. And that that is what we were looking for as an exposure. Mm. Besides uh, staying in the in the cocoon. Uh, we had those opportunities to, mm. to, to, exp to get some exposure. So coming back to Jaffrey now, because uh, this, this is a good thing that you are mentioning about going out of Jaffrey or going out of Mombasa to play. And although you were playing with other teams, uh, but you were a representative of Jaffrey basically. This is the important part here. Uh, we have our own community uh, players who have represented other teams out there it creates a good name for our community also, right? And, and, uh, and for Jaffrey also. So that was a good kind of uh, amb ambassadorship for you to be uh, doing. Um, but coming back to Jaffrey now, you know, the core um, uh, where you are looking at um, important games that you have played, right? Uh, as a captain or as a player, I ki ero toke magaji me ache toke moke hi performance wo panjo. Bale mainly not on a personal level, but on the comp, uh, on the team level, ke hi particular game pa hit the jitia wasi ke you know this is what had happened. I have two uh, two games in mind. One was the Kana Cup. I remember very well. It was a 30 over knockout uh, competition. We reached the finals, and at night before the game, the eve of the finals, we sat and uh, I. And I was captain that particular year. And I was thinking that 30 overs, one bowler can bowl six, so I need five. I need five bowlers. And I exactly had five. So I said, Hakuro bowler sarko nahi kare, so we will have a problem. We uh -huh. will have a big uh, gap in between. So I thought, what do I do? Next day, when we went to the field, uh, I think, uh, I don't remember whether we batted first or bowled. I think we, 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 we batted first. Uh, then, when we went into the fielding, the first over I think was bowled by Fazle Banji or, or, or one, one pace bowler. The second over, the new ball, I, I decided to call Mamad Epi. Mm. <laughs> now, now, that was a surprise. Uh, Epi himself was surprised. I said, Epi, 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 Three over, kar, baki jo sa sampali gindas. <laughs> to mukhe three ya four over kardi de door on thi vada ranuri. 
કરી માઉ કરા બોલ તો કે કરણ જો એન હી બોલ એન હી બોલ વેરી વેલ હી બોલ વેલ હી સો આઈ ગીવ ગેવ હિમ ટુ બોલ થ્રી ઓવર્સ ટુ ટુ ડેમેજ કંટ્રોલ બટ હી મેનેજ ટુ ફિનિશ હિઝ કોટા એન હી બોલ વેલ ઓન થ્રી સ્ટેપ્સ he was not a he was not a fast bowler uh-huh. on three steps he used to bowl i i don't even remember him bowling like i don't even see this is him it. bowling this is it. <laughs> but i had to choose somebody who yes. could see me off three four overs baki jo hasnan ali din afzal banji we were all that we could have handled uh-huh. but in case one because everybody doesn't have a day every day uh-huh. so one of the bowlers two ball, two of the bowlers will have a bad day now i will look i will have to look for a bowler so rather than having a new bowler at the towards the end where he will be yes. pitch overs yeah. he will be hit rather than he nave bolti tre char over ghusi vidan ghusi vidan ne nave bolti koi risk na kare batsman maran le to he ghusi vidan to he ghusai din sir kirit ne we won that game really that kind of the second one i i remember obviously is the the famous game of of the afed festival uh, which uh, uh, we played against arusha uh, now in that particular festival i was the captain 1985 uh the favorites were dar es salam arusha nairobi mombasa now before our game against arusha all had lost 1 1 game mm. so now a day before ke two days before we were playing arusha everybody had lost 1 1 match so now uh, the the uh, the uh, organizers had decided that we will take a run rate uh, versus the overs how many overs consumed how many runs scored so whoever the the average is the the highest average will win the tournament now sultan muhammad comes in muhammad raza ane kuro karan joy par aaj jo mil jaye kida mil da si mate now we call it situation room ha yeah. so we uh, the first floor of the pavilion situation room mein mamud khaki mamud ap myself i think fazle was there sultan muhammad we all sat down calculator kida hai sultan muhammad said muhammad yeah. chain muhammad was a renovator at that time yeah. so he keeps he goes on with his calculators because <laughs> he had to give quotations yeah. so he straight away ran to his car in the park car park brought the calculator now we decided so we came up to a conclusion that now tomorrow we are playing against arusha we need to score seven runs and over yeah. i remember very very distinctly that we had to score seven runs now winning the toss or losing the toss and putting into bat us by arusha is difficult to score 350 runs ah 50 over mein sara tarah se run koi hisab bina thi it's not possible so the other option was and now this is after calculating everything mm. Mm. after calculating all other t- uh, scores versus overs scores versus overs yeah. so we saw okay, even if we lose this game tomorrow mm. i think yes but our average has to be high winning was even better but not winning with any other uh, average of 4 or 5 ah. winning with an average of 7 7 ah. so either you win after having scored 350 you are ah. fine ah. now the question is if we cannot score 350 by betting first now hopefully we win the toss and we take field ah. and bundle them out as for as low as possible maybe 70 runs ah. and score them in 10 overs Ah so that's an average of 7 yes. you are fine you are winning fine. the cup yes you are winning the tournament yes by doing that by yes. having average of 7 so sultan cha hai barabar hai pake is satran khabda bio ka rasta hai two options basically kai the betting winner to win the toss was very important yes. very very important. if we lose the toss and if they put us into betting we are gone hmm. we can't score 350 so luckily we won the toss uh-huh. we won the toss i decided to field. field we took them out for 156 Oh. I remember the score 154 156 I remember it very well so we had to score that in 22 overs mm. now you multiply 22 by 7 is 154 uh-huh. so we had to score in 22 overs to have that average of 7 yes to maintain that ever we without a wicket uh, w- oh it doesn't matter doesn't matter ah, okay because wicket was not the criteria the criteria, the criteria right. was runs against overs I see nothing to do with wickets yeah. So I opened with uh, I think it was Mama Dapi if I'm not mistaken yes and uh, we hit hard and uh, I think AP was out a bit early and when I was out uh, the overs were uh, I think I was out on the 7th over and our score was 65 mashallah <laughs> very good so that was a good start there and then uh, I think uh, the other batsmen came in Shabin Azlai came in Riaz Fazal I think came in Uh, Amir Merali came in and Shabir Nazrali carried us 
the day through with Zuhair Kanji. Mm. Uh, and we won that game and finished it in, in uh, 20, 20 overs, point some balls. Yeah. Uh, shy of 21 overs. Yeah. So we were there, we, we won the tournament and uh, that was it. And imagine the number of spectators. Let's talk about spectators. Yeah. The amount of spectators, when we used to come out of our dressing room going towards the ground, now there are three, four steps mm. from the pavilion onto the ground. We had to move people yes. people to make space for us to go and bet. Mm. <laughs> that was the, the number of people packed. Yeah. Yes. The car park from the club up to the start of the sea, from the club up to Pandya Hospital. Uh, from the club up to customs house, from the club up to Serani, uh, this police ground, mm. full of cars. Mm. And one spectator which I really have to salute and uh, uh, really have to uh, uh, appreciate him is Hasnain with all his physical challenges, but he used, he was Hasnain Mol. He was very prompt in every match with all his noises at the time of boundaries, he used to support, yeah. a huge supporter and a fan not even minding of, of any of his challenges, he was always there for us. Yes, yes. I can tell you, I can vouch for that too. When we were also growing up and we were the young uh, lads, you know, playing cricket, he was always there giving us the encouragement before going on the ground, betting, this and that, always there for us. Uh, Alhamdulillah, he was like the biggest supporter of Jaffrey uh, in, in all aspects. Again, we <coughs> used to have uh, international, uh, coming back to Jaffrey, we mm. used to have uh, uh, overseas teams uh, like High Wycombe from UK, I mm. remember very well, uh, Madras Occasionals, uh, PIA. When PIA came, now this incident I remember so well, uh, <laughs> when this PIA came, Mullah Asghar Marhum was there and in his speech, you now we see PIA, uh, great people to fly with, that was their logo. Yes. So Mullah Asghar in his speech said, great people to play with. Yeah. So that was it was good, and that in his in his uh, remarks, uh, in the in the in the uh, dinner time, uh, when the tour, we, when we had played one game, there was a reception at that night and uh, night and the uh, dinner, and next day we had the other game. So after the games, after finished everything finished, we were packing. We had lost, I think, and uh, I, I was, uh, you know, the the mood which we were in and uh, the entertainment which we were having uh, playing cricket. So the baggage master of that PIA team, he was purely a baggage master. He was uh, he was taking people's kit bags mm -hmm. and one here, one here, and all that, just just to help out. Now he comes and tells me, he, he calls me. Tumara naam kya hai? Because mama thora zara naam hai, that she wear hoy da. Tumara vazan thora zyada lagta hai. Ye tumara thora zyada lagta hai. Me bola, ठीक है, आज तो सने ही the baggage master then I came to my face, so I said, I have a question. Now this is serious for me. Now I said, listen to us. I said, this is your big deal. I said, this is my 10 years old. So how did you get out of one day? No, no, I didn't do that. I gave him a bag and paper. So somebody gave him a paper and pen and he started writing for me my meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Hmm. So he wrote for me, he wrote for me, uh, apparently he knew English, so he was writing for me nicely. We were many of us, quite a few of us hmm. there. So he, he picked out on me only, I don't hmm. know why. Hmm. Maybe I was the one burly hmm. uh, compared to the others. So he writes, breakfast me ye khane ka hai, lunch me ye khane ka hai, dinner me ye khane ka hai. He gives me. Hmm. So I go through it, so, oh, and says, ah. Acha mujhe batao miya, ye khane ke pele khane ka hai, ye khane ke baad khane ka hai. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was so put off and I wanted to put him off, uh, but in a nice way. Ye khane ka hai, ye hi khane ka hai. Thik hai, dekhe hai. Then we left nicely and then uh, we were friends. Uh, so that's how everything went and uh, we used to really enjoy. Uh, yeah. we, we played a lot of cricket for the club and we progressed for the club. We progressed very well. All of us, everybody performed. Mm. Fazle Banji, Hasnain Ali Dina, Mohammad AP, Shiraz Jan Mohammad mm. for some time with his huge two yard off breaker uh, swings. Uh, very, very Hasnain, Hussein Ali Dina. Mm. We were all one close knit uh, uh, players then, yeah. as a team playing, and everybody had one notion in mind, everybody had one intention okay, we have to perform and we have to win, especially against those big games. So we were, Raj Jo, 
before the games we used to go to Taki Bandali more home oh. near the near near Bustani with yeah. Taki Bandali yeah. Ali's father yes Taki Hashem's brother, Taki Bandali. Ahmad's father. They had a small shop. Yes, Dr. Nasser's line. Correct. That's the place. We used to go to him and he was a fortune teller to an extent. We used to tell him just to get that the boost. He would willingly tell us. Something like that. So that was the interest generated that we wanted to know. What will happen? Even before the game, we wanted to know what's the mm. the outcome of the game. Mm. That was the level of interest what we were having, mm. and uh, we used to perform well. Uh, and I think the the people who left us, the guard, the six seven people who left, and they I think we we made them happy. Yeah, yeah, and I think they also were there even after. I remember, like Sultan Akka, like you mentioned, you know, they yes, always was, was yes, there. Yes. Uh, whenever there was a game, I remember they would be sitting there on the side yes, 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 and yes. directing you guys. You know, yes. okay, okay, honey, you know, do yes. this, do that. Yes. It was very, very common to see yes. that yes. for quite some time. But she, they started to phase In out. In terms of veterans uh, uh. coming to watch our games, like I mentioned, one, yeah. even uh, <laughs> Habib Virji. Uh, yes. Riyaz Banji's father, uh, Fazle Banji's oh, father, yes, oh, yes, very, yes, very, yes, regular, very regular, very regular, come and sit there. We used to be happy to see veterans, old people coming to bless our games. Yes. We used to feel nice that yeah. 9.30 they are there and, and not only one or two Sundays, every game they were there. Mm -hmm. So it was a boost and it was a very, very good. Uh, so when you said about entertaining, you know, uh, it was really a good word that you use because you actually entertain a lot of people. Uh, and myself as well. Yeah, I was, because, I was entertaining myself. Yeah, and, and the thing is that uh, not only with the sport, even with your character, you, you, you made people laugh and you made people happy, <laughs> which is a nice thing to have, right? <laughs> um, so I'm sure there are other moments also, if you, if you have anything in, in, in mind, to share there were some funny moments that have happened we had uh, so many funny moments yes it's uh, very difficult to pinpoint because there were many uh, sometimes you used to travel by train sometimes you used to miss the train sometimes you used to uh, hitchhike for that matter initially uh, uh. me and Shabir used to really have very very funny moments just go and stand at uh, Nairobi highway out after the game uh. At, uh, the game is early Four four thirty five o'clock. We would be at the highway, get a hike. So many times we got good drive, good people, uh, our Asians. We drive with them and have fun. Stop in Woi, back to Mombasa, something like that. And then slowly, slowly, we decided we we went more professional in the sense that we we go by air, come uh, back by air, and be more uh, punctual in going. Uh, very very good moments as well in Mombasa as well, even in the tours to. Uh, to the East African countries and India, but now that has got nothing to do with uh, with our club. Mm. Uh, but very many, very many entertainment uh, uh, chances we had, mm. uh, which I wouldn't remember offhand. But uh, good light moments between players. Yes. We used to travel to Nairobi f as Jeffrey mm. against Premier Club. Sometimes uh, there was a tournament going on, mm. so we used to have good fun there as well. Yeah. Uh, we used to come so close to them. Again, the challenge for us was having practiced in matting and going to play on turf, on, on, on grass. Mm -hmm. So there was a little challenge there. But overall, overall we performed quite well, well in yeah, Mombasa, yeah. quite well. That's why you can, you, 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 uh, you can see that we, have, we were 13 at one time. Mm. 13 from Mombasa playing in Nairobi. So it means Mombasa had impacted a lot in Nairobi cricket. Mm. So coming to now in the towards the later part uh, of eighties, where now you are now your your group of players are now coming to that age where you're going to be now moving out soon. Um, was there? Did you guys sit down and say, okay, how do the plan karze to have the next transition? You know, because transitions were happening. Uh, a little bit small small transitions were happening in between. I remember I started playing with you under your captainship 
for a very brief period of a couple of years in the early 80s before I went to England. And I remember you were, I was the wicket keeper and you were the bowler. And I remember you, you always told me that Mujah, I'm talking Sharo Kardos. He said, Google Karan, I'm talking Sharo Kardos. So, I'm talking about it, right? And, and like that. So, we were like a, cu- a couple of young fellows that were playing at that time, myself, Marhum Ali Raza Achu, uh, and Hasan yes. Dalal. They were yes. the, one of the first ones. Yes. But after that, in Japachi, how did this transition go on? Like, did you guys have a plan? Ke, how did it happen? <coughs> Fine. Now, that's a good question. There is nothing like a uh, plan, per oh, se, yeah. uh, to to uh, come, li- like uh, our, our predecessors. Yes. It was not planned. It was not planned. Uh, so, we happened. could not also plan. It just uh, happens. Uh. The thing is that uh, when, when it was our payback time, I wouldn't uh, say on anybody else's behalf. On my own behalf, when I thought that now we are leaving cricket, mm-hmm. now we have, now it's a payback time, we have to pay back. Now, when you think of payback, you have to coach people. Now, who do you coach? That age of between 14 and 18, yeah. or between 14 and 20, those are the people, or maybe 12, mm. 12 and 18, because mm. 20 is a bit too late. 12 and 16, 12 and 18, those are, that's, that is the, the patch you, mm. you train. Now, or you, you coach them. Now, once the boy reaches 16, he finishes his O levels, mm. he travels to UK, he yes. travels to Dubai, he travels to wherever he goes for further studies, yeah. and you lose him. Yes. So, whatever you have invested in him, he would reinvest. The return on investment, on our investment, is for the Jamaat or the country which he has migrated to. Yes. So, I thought, uh, personally, mm. I thought that I didn't find it worth uh, the time, although it was it was not it was not the right thinking, mm. but any time I would pick somebody to, to teach him to, a, a good leg spin, within three months, four months he's gone. He's gone. So now, how many do you pick? Yeah. Until when do you survive picking, picking, and the guy leaves picking, mm. picking, till there came a time when, for the last twenty years, uh, maybe more, maybe less, little bit, plus minus here and there, our club has been active on Fridays only. Mm. For the for the old people, they come for their walks, yes. and they have their meal, a small meal there, uh, with a small meeting. Yes. The, the the seniors. Yes. So for the last twenty years, fifteen to twenty years, this club has not developed any good player because it's died. Now the, the cricket, if you if you talk of cricket, cricket died for Kenya immediately after they beat West Indies in in, in yes. the semi finals. Was it yes. semi finals? Yeah. In the World Cup. Yeah. It died immediately after that. It should have come up like Bangladesh, Afghanistan. Mm. The way they are coming up. Now Kenya should have capitalized on that win mm. against the West Indies in the World Cup, in the semi-finals. So instead of capitalizing on that and improving cricket behind back home, it went the opposite. Yeah. So when the when when KCA when KCA uh, cuffs. CCA catches the cold, mm, mm. so it's, it it affects the yes. the whole country. Yeah, yeah. So no, nothing developed. Yes. It just went down. So then, the the the, pe- the people who came after us, mm. they tried Mujtaba Walji, Muhammad Fazal, mm. they tried to keep up uh, mm. the the game, uh, yeah. arranging some games here and there, schools uh, against Hatim. Even Hatim Karimji, Jim Khanna, they also to an extent faced the same problem that that age of 16, 17 migrated. Yes. So they <coughs> tried to, they, they, they were making games once in a month there is a game, once in two months there is a game at Mombasa Sports Club. Mm. They were they were actually having that appetite for cricket which mm. they could never fill it up but mm. they were trying and uh, little by little but competition had gone away totally. Yeah. There was no cup which you, we used to have before, this mm. cup, this cup, this tournament, nothing like that, just friendly games. Now, you see, when you start playing friendly games, the question is, till when? Yes. When there is a cup, when there is a tournament, you know the length is there. This is the length. We have to play against 10 teams. Mm. We have to, the whole year we have to play and try to get that tournament and that trophy. Mm. But when there's no trophy, only friendly games, yeah. till when? Yeah. Yeah. So, it slowly, slowly, that's how it, it died out, mm. unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, I think migration is is kind of the biggest uh, that was the uh, reason the, yeah, when all these things are happening. That's right. Uh, but again, they have to go for... Uh, uh, and then also this uh, uh, computer started coming in mm. this 20, 25 years ago. 
so they had better things on the rather than having the whole day mm. they were looking for short games maybe squash or, or maybe one hour football i think football took precedence over mm -hmm. any other game because mm. football is one two or two hours yes. you are free but cricket yes. you have to have the whole day whole day yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020 just came in lately mm. uh, recently but before there was only 50 hours 80 hours mm. so it was a matter of one one and a half days so i think but there is still hope inshallah because right now uh, we know that the constructions are going on there will come a time when cricket will uh, the, the the field is going to be there um, what do you uh, and, and and there is still a, a reasonable jamaat there where we kids are growing up um, do you have any sort of final message for these upcoming youths uh, maybe not um, in the sense that uh, generally uh, on, on sports uh, you know for cri for cricket or for any uh, sports that they play with um, any any message for them I believe for the and after having talked to a few officials of the of the club the cricket ground is coming back yeah. in its original uh, shape and form yeah. uh, almost the, the a, a test ground maybe a few few yards here and mm -hmm. there plus minus uh, it's coming the mm -hmm. pavilion is coming now after the ground has come football also will be played I'm given to understand mm -hmm. which is excellent it has to come it mm -hmm. has to come because if we have spent so much on the uh, club uh, house uh, and the ground now maybe a fraction of that it will cost you to revitalize the game mm. in the coast starting with secondary schools mm. approaching the other clubs uh, secondary schools would be a, a, an answer we donate a trophy and every game uh, every player bowler of the day batsman of the day uh, all-rounder of the day has to be awarded just to bring them attention just to bring them that that uh, taste of being a champion or, or being a, a successful on that particular day. So these things have to be donated, they have to be in place. As soon as the ground is ready, Mombasa Sports Club, they have the ground. Uh, Hatim Karimji, I'm not sure. Jimkhana, they have the ground ready. If our ground is ready, we can collude with, with uh, the other clubs who, were, who we were playing with before, tell them. If, if, if we don't get much uh, cooperation from them, we should initiate, get uh, some trophies, get donors and start from schools, inter schools, secondary schools, club level, secondary school level. Mm -hmm. That's how I don't think we can get any coach these days. Coaches, coach can be expensive. We can get from India, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's necessary at this time <coughs> because nobody wants to go into that professional level. Mm -hmm. Even if you go into professional level, Kenya itself is suffering. Yes. So what do you what do you what do you do after you become a professional? So mm. just entertain yourself, yes. play well, play within the the secondary schools, mm. play in the club level. It's possible. We it we will possible. we will make it possible uh, with the support of the uh, club executives. We will make it happen. I'm sure you and your group, as those who are still living in Mombasa, will probably be a, a very important part to this future of the club. Uh, and you can all work together to get this uh, happening, right? We have to because yes. we have seen the amount of uh, uh, expenditure uh, our community has made mm. uh, towards the clubhouse and the ground mm. when, 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 once it is ready. Mm. So to justify that, expend, uh, that expense and the time uh, uh, given towards building this, uh, to justify it and to reciprocate and to, to pay back to them, yes. we will, we will uh, get ourselves uh, get our bearings right yes. and uh, make it happen uh, so that the club once again has okay we can't have so many spectators like before yes, yeah. but whatever few who are coming let them come uh, we'll have games at least every Sunday if somebody doesn't have to do anything hello club ah, something like that we should try and get, get those yesteryears back yes. Thank you so much, Mahmoud Raza. It was <laughs> such a pleasure. And I'm sure all of you must have really enjoyed uh, this session that we had. Uh, and, I'm, and I appreciate your honesty and, uh, uh, and humility and, you know, your, um, your candidness, you know, to, to tell us what has happened in your, in your life. Good. Um, and uh, we mentioned a few people who are no longer with us. So uh, I will end this uh, interview with, uh, with the Surat al-Mubarakat al-Fatiha. Bismillah. Bismillah.